Hi, my name is Ilma, and today I'd like to share John 12, 1 to 11. Jesus, therefore, six days before the Passover, came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. So they made him a supper there, and Mar Martha was serving, but Lazarus was one of those reclining at the table with him. Mary then took a pound of very costly perfume of pure nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house is filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples who was intending to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for 300 denarii and given to the poor people? Now, he said this not because he was concerned about the poor, but because he was a thief. And as he had the money back box, he used to pilfer what was put into it. Therefore, Jesus said, let her alone so that she may keep it for the day of my burial. For you always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. The large crowd of the Jews then learned that he was there. And they came not for Jesus' sake only, but that they might also see Lazarus, whom he raised from the dead. But the chief priests planned to put Lazarus to death also, because on account of him, many of the Jews were going away and were believing in Jesus. John 12, 1-11. Here's my devotional. Mary anoints Jesus with costly perfume. Lazarus was resurrected from death in this account. It was six days after Passover, and Jesus passed by his friend's house in Bethany. We see on some occasions in the Bible that Jesus frequented the house of Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. It, established, it establishes how close he was with his people. While having supper with Jesus and the disciples, Mary got her most expensive perfume and began to anoint Jesus' feet with, the, with it and used her hair to wipe his feet. It must have been very costly to use pure nard because it made Judas Iscariot cringed at the thought that he could have profited from the value of that perfume. It really shows his character. He wasn't there for Jesus, but to use Jesus so he can benefit personally from the funds. In verse 6, we see the true color of Judas. He was a thief who embezzled money from the funds of the group. Mary's act of using the best perfume to anoint Jesus' feet is exactly the opposite of Judas' greed. She had to honor the Lord with all she has because he was her master. How easily can we forget that everything we have comes from the Lord? Some people forget that Jesus must come first in all that we have and all that we do. Reflection. Why did Mary anoint Jesus' feet and what was the significance of, of such anointing? Well, um, she anointed Jesus' feet because this is already a pre... Um, what do you call this? Like Almost like a premonition that Jesus was going to die and that uh, during the burial, he, she was going to anoint him because that was the practice then, that when uh, somebody dies, you anoint them with the oil and with the linen. So it was a, um, a foreshadowing of what Jesus was going to go through when he dies on the cross. And the significance of such anointing is that uh, Mary showed Jesus that he, he was first in her life that everything she has is His anyway. And uh, how often do we forget that when we become believers? We think that everything we have is for our benefit, but not really for the Lord. So what have you been hoarding that is not yours, but should be uh, anointing Jesus with that thing? So in my case, um, I have so many gifts that God has given me so I just want to use all the gifts that he has given me so that I could glorify him and I wouldn't want to use anything for my own purpose but for the glory of God and for growing his kingdom. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks and photographs. Have a blessed day and I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube. God loves you.